Good morning. Happy Friday. I love saying that. Happy Friday. Whew. I'm like two minutes late. And I'll tell you why. I had, it's, um, it's a lovely day. Really lovely day. It's going to be a little warm today, mind you, but it's really lovely. And the wind is just blowing like crazy. And of course, I had to have my um, windows wide open. And I was about to start and boom, <laughs> a bunch of stuff fell off of up above in the breeze and um, scared the dickens out of me. And I had to clean up. So knocked over a bunch of stuff. Whew, all is good. All is good. So today we're going to finish off the week with the all is bright sweet. And I'm just going to grab the stamp set, which is called Merry Christmas to All. And then the dies. Now one of them's out of here because it's in use right now. I'm going to be making a Christmas card. I know it seems early, but it isn't. So, um, what else? Oh, and, and make use of some of these um, stamps as well. And um, one of the dies. So, um, and the other thing is, I also have, have used out of the foliage frame. Foliage frame is a coordinating die set. Oh, that's not going to come out when that's, there we go, sticking through like that that uh, coordinates with the floor frame. So I purchased this and got my 10% off, like everybody else. And I used this die, which I've not used before. And it's really pretty, so I hope you like it. I do. Okay. The other product that we're using is this exclusive paper. And I say exclusive because um, it's only available through a host um, a hostess party. So if you have sales of, I believe it is $300 or more, you get this lovely paper. Now I've just pulled out three of the sheets. So you get four sheets, there's 12 in total, you get three of each. And this is the one we're using today. It looks a little washed out on my computer, but it isn't, it's a, it's garden green and it's lovely. This one is, it's got cherry cobbler and another color in there. Maybe just a lighter tone of the same. It's really pretty too. And this one, which is, it's, it's, I'm not sure what those flowers are, but very geometric. Now let's flip it over. And you have some kind of like a newsprint looking, but the print is in the um, garden green again. This is really pretty. I always want to turn stuff. I want to turn it this way for some reason. Anyway, so I'm going to call them points at us. Let's go with that, okay? And then these stripes. And it won't go too fast because they're going to go wonk, wonk, wonk on the uh, screen. So Now you can either, like, to get that paper, I mean, you, you place a, your own order or you have a party. And I have time. The only thing is, it's only till September 30th and then it's gone. It is gone. Let's see what else I needed to tell you. I think that's it. So let's bring in the pieces. I've done a bunch of the die cutting already. So, and cutting obviously. So there's the base of the card. I'm going to be using gold foil paper. I'll cover that up a bit so you don't get blinded by the light. That's the inside of the card, so we'll set that aside for a moment. And here's that, uh, oh, hey, let go, let go, let go, let go. What's that? The foliage frame. Now, I think the idea with the foliage frame is that you cut another circle and then you have greenery sticking out. But for my purposes, which was to have Christmas done in gold, I really didn't think it needed anything else. You know, I think that's all it needs. If you were watching my video on Tuesday, and you can go back, I used the, um, oh, self-adhering, good gracious, hang on, hang on. You can't write everything down. I used these. Multi-purpose adhere adhesive sheets, which helps you put on, well, not just like words and such. I just got rid of the eye. Did the eye, oh no, the eye still in here. I need the eye. Where's my tool? Here we go. Hey, Carol, hello. All right, so here's the um, take your pick. I think that's what it's called, <laughs> tool. I always want to call it something else, so. 
there I'm going to poke out the eye in Christmas there we go there we go so usually I have the palette end out well and I'll switch it to that because it's sharp of course you know of course it is it has to poke things out of the spot so this card will come together really quickly and don't lose the dot on the eye <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm so afraid give me one moment my uh, ink here it is okay so we're gonna use garden green and to go with the paper and I have the Mary for Christmas I have the Mary stamp ready to go so super super easy tap 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 remember don't gush it in this is well if your ink pads older you may have to but not with mine it's there so you would um, oh, my goodness stamp that and then run this through the big shot in the smaller of these little frames and with the magic of me having this done ahead of time not so magic you can have uh, you have I have already done and it's already on the dimensionals as well so that's kind of nifty you can see how it's coming together so actually you know what let's do the inside of the card right now and then the, the stamping part is all done oh yeah I can't well you can tell since I discovered that I ordered this ages ago and finally I'm using the multi-purpose adhesive sheets now I'm getting lots of good use so I inked up the stamp in um, the same garden green again and this is this is a great stamp because it's it's big it's big and I I'd actually like to make a card where I put it on the front of the card because I think that'd be kind of cool and probably put it in a die there I love and I'm not just I am tooting the Stampin' Up horn I love the detail in the stamps these are quality stamps okay so let's put some cards together put a card together and see what we end up with so a few more goodies to put on there oh and I wanted to tell you a tip as well when you're working with this the um, the gold foil sheets to put this underneath here is kind of a waste of all that so if I wasn't doing this for, for the video, what I would have done is I would have cut out some things behind that you couldn't see, getting more use out of the uh, the paper. But, am I doing that backwards? Why yes, yes I am. Okay, so let's do it, <laughs> let's do it the other way. I was going to put this piece on here, but no, I got ahead of myself again. You know, I just, <laughs> I just did a, uh, oh yeah, it's pretty. I just did a um, a fall arrangement for outside. And uh, it seems kind of funny today. Yesterday it was perfect. And I understand actually in the next few days it's going to be a little bit uh, nippy. Uh, seasonal, I guess we like to call it. Okay, so here's the paper with the stars. Now I turned that around because I want more of that, this full star showing. I will put the measurements up at the end of the video. Once it's saved, I will put that up. And uh, that works. There we go. How easy is that? Seriously. And like I said, I have the dimensionals on here already, so I'm just gonna take these off the back. And do one other little thing. Make sure that everything's in the frame because I've uh, moved my computer around now if you haven't seen already there that one's not off if you haven't seen already my deal of the week is do i have them handy i do i've used some not so you get a new package not this package obviously these are the red rhinestones and they don't show up well in the picture but uh they are really pretty on cards so if i do that of course they're in the package so we're probably getting a wee bit of glare mm -hmm. Alrighty, um, but anyway, with a with a um, sixty dollar order, those are yours. 
Let's see. You know me. I don't want it in the center of the page. I want it a little bit north of that. So here's how these work again. Alrighty. Peels off really nice. Now be gentle with it, okay? Be gentle. Don't don't go ripping it off. So I noticed when I did um, a test one the other day, I kind of made it go a little misshapen, and that was my own fault for manhandling it. All right, let's see where Mary's going to go, and then we know where Christmas is going to go. Oh, off the edge just a little bit. A tiny bit, but it still fits in the envelope. Perfect. Oh, yes. Hmm, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Well, I think I'm going to have to use a teeny, teeny, there. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, really light. Really, really, really light. And see if I can just... There we go. And drop it on top. I, I made the smallest, smallest little dot of glue. And just, it's, we still have wiggle time. And I, I do want it facing the same direction, you know. Take the backing off these guys. It's not a difficult card, for sure. Because we're not, you know, Christmas is busy enough. I know it's not Christmas time, but it's busy enough. So you don't necessarily need um, to complicate matters. So what about right there? Is it straight? I always have to pick things up. Yes, it is. Oh, you know, I always forget to do this. Okay, I was going to bring out my, my nemesis, which is the gold. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. The gold uh, thread, it was going to go underneath, but, and of course it's sitting right here. So um, I will show you a trick though, because my thing is I cannot get it working for me. So let me just grab a shape that I already have cut out. Okay, so let's say you have a shape like, like this. What you wanna do, okay, is get your glue dots out and on the back, this this is one of the stitched uh, ovals, and you can tell if you feel the back. I don't know if you can hear that. That's the back where it sounds scratchy. And it's just going to lay down a couple of glue dots, okay? And then you take your gold thread, and actually, yeah, I'm going to wrap it around my fingers first. Okay, let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. Some people find this really messy, and it's supposed to look a little wonky. It's supposed to look like it's, um, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but okay, might not have put made it big enough, but we'll see. You know what? Lay down one more glue dot. Maybe one closer to where I think I'm. Oh, they are sticking to my fingernails this morning. Totally. Oh, I took off some paper. Well done. My fingernails are wet. Is I just just did them this morning in clear I always use clear don't know why alrighty grabbed another one so it's gonna be wonky but you'll get the idea attach it to your glue dots and it's just a put something underneath that's dark it's just a little bit like sticks out off the page off the uh, the background and I would trim that tail of course but I forgot and now I still have to get the glue dot off my fingernail there Sometimes I amaze myself <laughs> at the stuff that happens while I'm making. Ah, yes. Just about as fun to work with, too. Um, a sponge sugar. Okay, get all the things I don't need off to the side. Now, what I do want is to put a couple of these um, metallic uh, pearls on. Remembering the rule of threes, okay? Just like you do when you're working at home on your house. So let's see. I'm picking a triangle. And again, like I, I'm, you know what? I sound like a broken record. Make them wonky. Make your triangles wonky. I wonder if I could put. Don't want it too close to the eye, because we don't want to look like I I I I one two. Oh, and I have one that's loose on my finger. You, come with me. There. 
And where are we going to put that one? One, two. That makes it too even of a triangle. Yeah, up here. There we go. Yeah. Don't make a perfect triangle. Not a perfect triangle. Okay, so there's the front. Now, what I did notice is, let's say you're like, oh man, I put that in the wrong spot. You can peel it off and do it again. Which means I, I can't go too far because I have the eye already attached. But you get the idea that you can actually remove it, put it back on. Ta-da! Now stay. Again, over the edge a little bit, but my envelope is bigger, so I'm not too worried. Okay, and then we do the inside. Now we're not done yet. We are not done yet. I didn't check the size of this. And... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no worries. Like I said, I distract easily. We are going to do the envelope as well because it's going to be Christmas time and Christmas time means you want to go even, go big, you know, go big. Now, hopefully, which one? This one. So I'm going to decorate the back of the envelope. I just got an order in yesterday with my more snail. My more snail? With more snail. There. I want it pretty close up to the edge here. So I do want it to stay in place. So just take my time, make a nice thin line. Now, I decided in this case not to use the uh, multi-purpose liquid glue because yeah, I want something sticky. Not that it isn't sticky. I don't want it runny. I don't want, I don't want movement. I just want it to go where I want it to go and stay. Wow, isn't that pretty? We're not done. Okay. And then you simply, you're going to cut around. Like, how easy is that? I may have demonstrated that before, but you know what? I can't say enough times how, how much just the nice little finishing touches make everything really pretty. Yes, your order arrived yesterday. I am delivering on Monday. I would get into that. Yeah, I was surprised. The dog started barking and I'm like, what? Why is, what, what? And, and the truck wasn't even in front of my house. It was in front of my neighbor's house. So I said, nope, not for me. Um, and then there it was. So I haven't separated everything. I did get out my snail. Okay, that could be up a little higher, but you get the idea. So that arrives in the mail with your pretty envelope. How nice is that? How nice is that? And that is your card for today. Now, before I forget, do I have my paper? I do. Okay, I have some upcoming classes. They're not yet on my, uh, on my blog, but they will be. So, a few things that you want to know. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you um, the card, um, <laughs> the card from Tuesday as well. So this is with the same set, just a couple extra little embellishments, and then the inside of the card. Stay. I'll make that stay. I will make that stay. I didn't press it down hard. When you're ready, press it down hard. So the classes will be on October 25th and November 29th. Thank you. And um, I will put the details on my blog. And if you have bonus day coupons, they are going to expire in nine days. Okay, so make sure you make use of those. And then, now you can place your orders through me or you can do them online. If you're gonna do them, going to send your order online, then the host code is on my blog. But here we go, T, uh, 9TAA, -A. let's check my pen and penmanship, B, Z, these are never like really simple, 3J, there you go. So there's our cards, oh I could have done that envelope too, hmm, I don't think I have that paper handy, I have other paper but um, that's all she wrote, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching, please share with your with your friends, get your name in the draw. $60 order gets you the these little pretties. And, um, and, um, and, um, and, um. <laughs> this is so funny because when it goes on YouTube, I'm gonna sound really silly. Um, yeah, I am on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, 
and all through my Lolly and Sand. So lollyandsand.blogspot.com and so on. Um, that was the uh, All is Bright Suite. Uh, where was it? Oh yeah, on this one is where I use the, uh, what's it called? Swirls and, swirls and darn it. <laughs> swirls and darn it. It's on like page three of your catalog. Let's just swirls and curls, swirls and, swirls and curls. Yay! Swirls and curls embossing folder. Very festive looking. Anyway, happy Friday. Thank you for liking my cards. Thank you for sharing. And um, I will see you again on Tuesday, which is when I do the draw for um, uh, the um, prize patrol. So I will see you again. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And bye. Let's hope this one shuts off, right? Because the last one wouldn't. Here we go.